ಡೆ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮೇ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಈಶ್ವರ ಅಮ್ಮ ಡೇ ಇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸಾಯಿ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ಡೇ ಇನ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ದ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಮದರ್ ಲವ್ and was instantly united with the lord when the time of her passing was near she called out swami 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 and swami responded coming 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 and she merged with him that instant who was this blessed mother ishwaramma kondamaraju the grandfather of swami being a gnani was blessed with the vision of the future one day he called his son pedavankamaraju and told him to change his pregnant wife's name to ishwaramma from namagiri amma his intention was to convey that he was the mother of ishwara god himself pedavankamaraju obeyed the command of his father and changed his wife's name to ishwaram we have heard that bhagavan was an unusual child causing surprising occurrences even moments after his birth mother ishwaramma had been consigned to a simple village hence his activities on the path of young satya would cause her alarm as mother yashoda did with regard to krishna mother ishwaramma would pray for divine intervention to change her satya into a normal boy still ishwaramma could see in him the potential of a poet a singer a dancer a playwright or a director and she hoped he would blossom in these fields in fact satya's theatrical skills were so good and such was ishwaramma's simplicity that whenever she saw him in a dramatic role she wept aloud and rose mercy to protect him Mother Ishwaramma was the inspiration for the mammoth social service projects that make the name of Satya Sai shine throughout the world. On several occasions, Baba has recalled this endearing facet of her life. Let us see how she brought about the change for millions of people around the world because of her loving, selfless and noble nature. Namaskaram amma your son is looking very tired why is that namaskaram amma i am coming back from my school so late yes amma he is studying at the higher elementary school at kukkapatna which is 4 kilometers from here it is very hot today and he has had very little for lunch that is why he is very tired hmm. i understand even my satya have to go all the way there for his studies yes amma we have to travel all the distance in the sun and rain have to leave have, have to leave early from here hmm. since he is young i have to accompany him every day on this long distance it is sad that our children have to suffer so much hardship for getting their education amma hmm. Namaskar Anna how are you both doing my brother was not feeling well so i accompanied him to the hospital in the next village he was not able to walk till there however we managed to get the bullock cart to go and come back oh no how are you feeling now brother i am still feeling weak <coughs> they have given medicines and asked me to come in five days thinking of going and coming all the way to the hospital itself is making me very worried <coughs> when we are well we can walk in long distance when we are not well even small distances very difficult 
So many people are put up at your suffering due to such problems. Hmm. So sad. Please take care of yourself. By the grace of the Lord, you will be very alright very soon. Oh, you seem to be carrying a lot. That must be very heavy. Let me help you. No, no, Amma. I have just started bringing water for our needs. It is the summer season and the water in the Chitravati river has become a trickle. Good drinking water is available only far away. And I need to get 8 to 10 pots of water for a family every 3 to 4 days. You must get so tired. In the rainy season, we can take the river water. But in the summer season, as you know, it's very difficult. As we need to search for water in the wells. <sighs> what to do? People around have so many problems. But what can I do? Surely, I can place my request at Swami's ears and see if anything can be done about it. Swami will surely think of something to do. Let me do that. Swami, our Puttaparthi is a small village. Since there is no school here, people are forced to walk long distances to attend the schools in the neighboring villages. I know that you are the ocean of compassion. So, can you please construct a small school in this village? Amma, this is such a noble thought. I also remember the hardship my friends used to go through. But where do you want the school? Swami, I have a piece of land behind my house. So you please construct the school here. Amma, you just do not have any desires for yourself. Only for others. And you are committed to sacrifice even your personal things to make it happen. I am very happy. I will get the school constructed. Swami, what a grand apart the inauguration of the school was. And you are going to provide free education. I am so happy. Amma, how could I say no to your noble wish? But Swami, tell me Amma, do not hesitate. Do you have any more wishes? I don't want to put you to trouble. If it gives you happiness, please construct a small hospital in this village. Sure Amma, this wish of yours will also be fulfilled. Swami, you have built such a nice hospital. Everyone is happy. I myself have gone and told many women to get themselves checked up. Amma, I know you also participated in its construction, getting sand, stone, bricks and cement. But there were other younger and stronger women to do all that. You need not have done it. How can I not participate? It brought me great joy and satisfaction to do all that. I am very happy. Are you happy that your wish has come true? Yes, Swami. I have no more worries. You have fulfilled all my desires and lessened the sufferings of the villagers to a great extent. If you have any more desires, ask me now. Really, Swami? I do have another wish, but tell me, Amma, I am eager to know what your wish is. You know that the river Chitravati overflows during the rainy season. But during the summer season, it dries to a trickle and people do not have drinking water. So, can you please see that some wells are dug in this village also? Amma, you are very observant of others' suffering. I will not stop with these small wells. I will provide drinking water to the entire Rayalaseema region. I don't know where Rayalaseema region is. I am satisfied if our village is provided with drinking water. Consider your worries are gone. I will take care. Swami, these people have come to thank you for all the wonderful projects that you have started. Swami, thank you so much for establishing a school in Puttaparthi itself. Now, I am not worried about my child and his education anymore. I also have the time to look after my family. Yes, Swami, I am also able to spend a 
We can also take part in small jobs and help all the needy people in the society. We should always do service with love and gratitude and never with pride. Our humble namaskars to the Divine Mother Yishwaramma and the Son, our beloved Bhagavan, who as a dutiful son fulfilled his mother's wishes in wonderful ways. Let us all make a commitment to do service to others and be always near and dear to the Divine. Jai Sai Ram! Jewel of the Ratnakaratha. O oh, Sai, you are having 